Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Wednesday, May 4th, right around noontime, Mountain Time 2022. Three large flares, 2M and a surprise X flare, kicking off the sun as it ramps up to solar max. No CMEs headed towards Earth, and that's good news. The big story, J Peak Resort, Vermont, will open for one final weekend thanks to too much snow. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Keep calm. It's boom time. Idaho mountain snowpack levels get a big boost in April. The entire state is around average with two regions well above average, 141%, 138%. And more precipitation is headed to the Pacific Northwest. We have two, a round of three storms coming through the weekend. So... Please get your rain jackets out and your umbrellas. Oregon snowpack numbers are also healthy for May. Hey, hey. 151% in the Willamette Basin, 84% in the Rogue Basin, and the Upper Deschutes and Crooked at 111. So snowpack in the Pacific Northwest is looking fine, which means excellent river rafting seasons. Now, large hail. Winds caused storm damage across central Ohio, and the hail was quite substantial. And my voice is breaking up whenever those videos pop up. I apologize for that. So we're going to try to find a fix for that. Wet, cold spring keeps farmers out of fields across Minnesota. Say it ain't soda, but it is. A weekly crop report from the USDA shows Minnesota farmers are behind on planting season as wet, dreary weather persists. Take a look at those fields. Oh. And just not Minnesota. Left out in the cold is North Dakota farmers. They don't know when they'll plant because of snow. And then that melts and turns to mud and, well, you know the drill. India as well mulls wheat export curbs in their latest food supply squeeze, affecting the whole earth. India has some of the worst droughts this spring, essentially decimating the wheat crop there. Severe thunderstorms, excessive rainfall, and fire weather concerns Wednesday. Severe thunderstorms with tornadoes, damaging winds, hail, and heavy rainfall are expected over the Southern Plains Wednesday and the Mississippi River Valley on Thursday. Excessive rainfall and rain rates of two inches per hour or higher could bring flash flooding. Critical fire weather conditions will persist in parts of the Southwest, especially New Mexico and East Texas and the Rockies. And there's a little bit of winter storm warning and watches here up in northern Colorado where the snow is falling as I speak. Let's take a look at the severe weather threat for tomorrow. It's right there in the red bullseye. Heads up, right at the junction there between, it looks like Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Let's just back this up. It's going to begin in Oklahoma today. And the storms will pick up by tomorrow morning. It's going to quickly move east and probably wreak havoc. We're talking hail, potential tornadoes, high winds, and heavy rain. So if you're in those regions, keep calm. Take a look at the precipitation forecast for snow. And here we are through Thursday. A little That's that snow I was talking about in Colorado, a little bit in Wyoming, a little bit in Utah. But as we move into the weekend, we're going to have multiple storms in the west pulsing in here. And that is just not laying out right here. Let me let that move forward at least one time. Okay, we can move this through. Here's your Thursday through Saturday. You can see some of that snow moving in Saturday all day in the northwest, including Idaho, western Montana. Through Sunday, it's going to continue to pile up Sunday into Monday as it moves down the Sierras. So we're going to have an amazing amount of snow, more snow in the west. More precipitation in the West as the La Nina pattern appears to be locked in place. Now, Gaiua, Vanuatu, one of the most remote volcanoes everywhere. Quite impressive eruption yesterday. And let's get to some of the details. Gaiua is one of the most remote and most active volcanoes of the Vanuatu archipelago. Located on the island with the name... The same name in the West Bank Island, right there in the middle of nowhere. The most recent eruption started in September 2009 from Mount, Mount Garrett inside the Caldera Lake and was ongoing as of April 2010. Well, it, it went quiet, but it's back in the news. And let's see what they're saying here. A strong explosion took place at the volcano starting around 9 a.m. local time. That looks quite impressive. 
only to 6,000 feet, but it drifted southwest. The eruption was heard by locals witnessed in the Naveto village northeast of Gaua. So where they live in straw huts. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Popo, Etna, Fuego, Karimshkai, Krakatau, Semaru, Ibu, Dukono, Reventador. And let's just take a look at Fuego. Some intermittent strong explosions are quite beautiful. Slightly strombolian. Etna Volcano. This is a very interesting phenomenon that Etna does pretty regularly. It puffs out gigantic volcanic smoke rings. And this is a beautiful steam ring from Etna just yesterday. So some pretty fantastic things. Also, Krakatau in the Sunda Strait. Lava continues to enter the sea. There's lays and haze, volcanic ash, and tongues of lava are forming a glowing horseshoe shape. And there you can see that glowing horseshoe. Who knew? Well, now you did. Let's take a look, a better look at Gaua and see the eruptive history and see if there's anything we really have to worry about. It typically erupts at VEI2 quite regularly. Here's the 2011 eruption at VEI1, 2009 at VEI2, 82 at VEI2, another VEI2 in 77. Back here, there was one VEI3 on the list in 1965, all coming from Mount Garrett. So we could be seeing an eruption as high as VEI3 coming from this in the near future. Space weather news update. We've had three large flares. This X flare came from the limb on a new sunspot group that's just moving into view, X1.1. Um, this M flare came from a, a newly developed sunspot region right here in the center disk. Let's see if we can take a look at that. And that's active region 3004. We'll keep a close eye on that right now. And then the, another M flare kicking off, which I haven't checked its location. But I did look at C2 and C3, and there are no CMEs associated with this that are any of any significant value, and none of it's going to be geo-effective. You can see the three-day geomagnetic storm forecast, all quiet on the Western Front, which is good news. Astronomers' mind-blowing animation shows the true scale of our solar system. Now buckle your seatbelts. This is a goodie. This is just to give you an idea of some of the scales of size in our own solar system and how insignificant a little tiny black dot on Earth really is. And there's your mind blown for the day. Come check out the animation. Pretty fantastic. Coming from JPL. All links will be below. Strange galactic signal coming from the center of the galaxy has a potential new explanation. Does it? Well, they think they have an explanation. We've talked about the galactic center and the multiple giant plasmoids dancing around there. We showed you photographs or apparent pictures that were composites from new information. And it looks amazing at the center. But researchers at the Australian National University have found an alternative explanation for the mysterious gamma ray signal coming from the center of the galaxy, which was long claimed as a signature of dark matter and more recently a black hole. Now another fairy tale. Associate Professor Roland Cocker, Crocker said this particular gamma ray signal, known as the galactic center excess, that means there's too much, too much stuff coming from the galactic center. May actually come from a specific type of rapidly rotating neutron star. Eh. Well, if it is a rapidly rotating neutron star or a black hole, whatever it may be, it could be that this signal is the pulse that happens every 26,500 years. Sending out, well, a deadly wave, which will eventually reach us in our solar system. We'll try to get Paul Lavalette on the show to break it down for you. As some of you are sleeping, the rest of us are heroes, and we share this video, and that's a boom. To knowledge, proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Come out to the middle of nowhere in Ruidoso, New Mexico to squatter men. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And be safe. We love you. Boom. Mm -hmm.